my channel. So in today's video, it is going to be all about my pantry. We are going to be getting my pantry super organized. I am so excited, you guys. I have never, ever had a pantry before, so I have so much organizing to do. We're going to be going all out in this video using acrylic organizers. We're gonna be using some baskets. I just want to make everything look beautiful and functional. So we're gonna get right into this video. I'm gonna give you guys a before shot of what we're working with. We did move into this house almost a month ago. It's been about a month and I just had my husband throw everything in the pantry when we were unpacking. I was like, just throw it in there, put it on a shelf. I don't care how you place it because I knew I was going to be filming this video and I knew that I needed to get my pantry organized and I hadn't had all of my organization tools yet. So everything has officially arrived. I will leave the link to everything I use in the video in the description box. Most of everything came from Amazon. Some things I already had, some things came from Target, but I will leave all of the stuff down in the description box. So if you're wondering what I'm using, it will be down there for you guys, but we are gonna get right into the video. Okay guys, so welcome to my pantry. When I told you that we just shoved everything in here, that is literally what we did. There is no kind of organization going on at all in here. Everything is just thrown. We have no idea where anything is in here. So we have tons of just like food items, like oils mixed with nuts, mixed with just everything. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking every single thing out this pantry and that way I can see what I have and we're gonna get everything organized and nice and pretty. We have chips on the floor, drinks on the floor, all of these appliances that we kind of have stored in here. I ended up having so much leftover cabinet space in my kitchen. So I'm thinking I'm going to move the appliances into some of the cabinets. I may keep like one or two in here, but I don't want this whole thing to just be appliances. So I will be moving a few of those in some of those cabinets, but this is what we are working with. So we have so much ahead of us. These little ladders that are in here, we have two, are not supposed to be in here, but we were doing like um, hanging our new curtains up and we just placed it in here. So we need to move that back to the garage where that goes, but let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we are starting with is getting some of the counters cleared up. I wanted to be able to have tons and tons of space because we are gonna be following the Kamari method for this pantry organization. I'm gonna be removing every single item out of this pantry, so I needed tons of space to be able to put things on the counters. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's been fast when it's looking like that. Oh, it's my As you guys can see, we have so much stuff in our pantry, and I know that removing everything out is very time consuming, but I promise you it is so worth it. So that way you can get everything out, see what you have, throw away any food that's expired. We had just moved in, so we didn't have any expired food, but pulling everything out allows you to be able to see every single thing, get rid of things, declutter. I also am going to go ahead and clean out my pantry pantry now that I have everything out. I'm sweeping the floors. We're also going to be giving the floors a good mop in here as well. Okay guys, so the pantry is completely emptied out. I'm like echoing in here. I'm out of breath. That was a lot harder than I thought to clear everything out. We just have our little bag thing in here, but I swept and mopped the floor, so these are nice and clean. So here is our empty slates. Let's get started. All right, guys, so this is everything I emptied out from my pantry. Like, we have so much stuff. I don't even know how I was dealing not having a pantry all this stuff over here. We also have the island completely filled of stuff as well. So we have a lot ahead of us to tackle. Look at this, you guys, crazy. So I wanted to share with you guys all of the bins that I picked up 
for this pantry. I'm gonna be utilizing a lot of the stuff I had before, but this is just some of the new stuff I picked up. I picked up these baskets from Target. I picked up six of them. The other two are in my office somewhere, but these were $10 each and they were in the Studio McGee aisle, even though these aren't part of the Studio McGee collection. And I loved the size of these. I thought these would be perfect for things I wanna contain. I just got a lot of them because if I don't end up using all those in my pantry, I can use them in my linen closet. I also have tons of acrylic organizers. These have seriously came from everywhere, you guys. Some from Amazon, some from TJ Maxx, some from Marshalls, but I will try to link anything that didn't come from Amazon. I'll find something similar for you guys, but just tons of these acrylic organizers. I also picked up these little wired baskets from Target from the kids section. I think I'm gonna use these for like potatoes and onions, I'm thinking for that. And then like these little Lazy Susans I got from TJ Maxx, but I know I can find something similar for you guys on Amazon. So two of those, and then these two larger baskets, I think I'm gonna use for paper towels. Those came from Target as well from the kids section. So I went ahead and washed all of my new containers that I was gonna be using for this pantry organization yesterday so they would be ready to go. And I found that my counters were very crowded of clutter and it didn't give me too much space to be able to work with. So you'll see me doing a little bit of work on the counters, but for the most part, I do most of all the organizing in the pantry. I will grab what I need and kind of organize in there. I like to have space so I can really see what's going on and I didn't want to be organized things on the cluttered countertops because it was just very overwhelming so just bringing a little bit in the pantry at a time and adding it to my organization bins made things so much easier for me One thing that I was really surprised by is that every bin that I purchased, every basket I purchased, I ended up using. I thought I would have tons left over to be able to use in other spaces in my home, but I ended up using all of the acrylic bins that I purchased. I was able to move some ones that were in my old pantry that no longer fit the space, and I'm gonna be using those in other locations of my house, but I was super excited that I didn't have to worry about taking any of these bins back, and I was able to find use for them in my pantry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I recommend if you were going to get the poppet containers, I have the poppet containers from OXO and I also have the Amazon airtight containers as well. I love both of those. I will have all of those linked down below. I think they work great for keeping your food fresh. I only put food that I buy all the time in those containers. So like tortilla chips is something we always have on hand, flour, sugar, rice. Those are things we always have on hand. I don't recommend using those like airtight containers containers for things that you don't buy all the time because then it's like one more thing you have to wash when you run out of that item. Whenever I was adding things to my pantry, I didn't overthink it too much. My main goal was getting everything in a category in a clear acrylic bin, and I knew that I could move it around and play around with it when I got everything in here. So you'll see me doing that later in the video. So don't focus on getting it perfect the first time. Just get everything in the clear acrylic bin, and then when everything's in your pantry, you can move things around and make it perfect and make it work for you. We won't stand a chance Those clear stickers that I'm adding to my organization bins, I got from Amazon. I love the way the Home Edit uses these white labels in their pantry organization. They sell them at the container store, but I believe they're like four or five dollars for one label, you guys. I was not paying that. I got this entire pack for like 10 or 12 dollars on Amazon, and it really came with so many labels. Of course, there were a few that I wish it came with, but for the most part, I was able to get everything labeled and anything that I couldn't use that label for. I just used my good old label maker and just labeled whatever else I needed labeled. It's wasting time. I don't know how to enjoy it. Every time you tell me it's not there, I 
so when I was organizing my pantry, I didn't just want everything to be pretty. I wanted it to be extremely functional. So you'll see me moving things around. I'm putting all of the snacks together, all of the cooking essentials like brown rice and flour and oils together. So that way it just makes sense. And whenever I need something, I know exactly where to go. Snacks on one shelf, cooking essentials on another shelf. You just want to organize in a way that makes the most sense for your family. I'm trying to be All right, guys, it is several hours later. I wish that I could move as fast as I'm moving in my videos. That would be amazing. But we got everything from the counters into the pantry. I'm gonna be doing a huge reveal for you guys, sharing how everything turned out. But first, I wanted to get everything cleaned up. I wanted to get my scissors put away, my labels put away. I had some acrylic bins that were from my last pantry that I'm gonna be using in other areas of my house. So I got those put away and we're just going to be giving everything a good wipe and getting it back to new again. to comment about these pink microfiber cloths. I got them from Amazon, of course, you guys. What don't I buy from Amazon? And I love them so much better than my old ones. They are super, super thick, and they do such an amazing job at wiping down counters, all kinds of surfaces. So I will make sure to have those linked below because they are just that good. Definitely order you a pack, and how fun is the pink? Mrs. Meyer spray to wipe down all of my counters. I'm also using it to wipe down my stove top as well. Since that flour did fall through there, I'm just giving it a good wipe. We're gonna put the racks back on and then you'll see me bring everything that was on my counters back into the kitchen. So my coffee machine, my cookbooks, all of those things I'm gonna put back on the counter and then we're gonna give the floors a good sweep and I also vacuum as well because the floors were so dirty from everything that had fell on them. Last thing we're gonna be doing in this kitchen is vacuuming the floors. Even though I just swept, I pretty much just got all of the big things that couldn't be vacuumed up. And then I went ahead and just went with my vacuum with all of the small things that were on the floor. And then I'm going to be sharing with you guys the major pantry reveal. So I thought I would give you a run through of just kind of how I organized everything, what everything is. So I thought we would start at the bottom first. So over here, I just have some onions in an acrylic container that I got from Amazon. I have some baked potatoes. I also have some baby potatoes in there as well. I have some sweet potatoes here. I love these wired baskets that I got from Target out the kids section. So I'll have those linked below. And we love our drinks as you can see. So we 
we have some Essentia water. If you've never had Essentia water, you have to try it. It is like the best water ever. We also have some LaCroix. The watermelon flavor is like our favorite flavor. So have that. And then we have some liquid IV. I love adding liquid IV to my drinks and I just put it in this mason jar and then I bought these tops separately from Amazon. I will link these below as well. It just kind of like elevates your mason jar. So love those. Also have some Red Bull. Those are good to have every now and then. And then a subscriber told me to try this ginger beer from Aldi's and it is so good. So thank you so much, Brenda, for recommending those. We love those here. So got tons of those. Over here, we have our cooking oils and I did label the oils down there. And then this is just like miscellaneous items, like all of our extra stuff that's like in some of the um, acrylic containers, like fish fry and just kind of our extra stuff. And then just at the bottom under there, we just have a big bag of brown rice. We buy our brown rice in bulk. So then coming up here to this row, I went ahead and put an extras basket and this is all of our extra products that couldn't fit on the condiments. So like we have tons of like extra ketchup and soy sauce. And I also got these labels from Target. These baskets came from Target, they were $10. I love these little label um, things that stick on the baskets. I just stuck the sticker right on there. You can also put it on the paper, but I have white labels so that wouldn't have worked out too well because the paper was white. And then in this basket, I have all of our vitamins that we take. I have emergency. I have some stress gummies, some immunity gummies, just like everything that is for our health, I put in this basket. And then coming over here, we have our bread. We have some tortillas back there. I also use a lot of chicken stock and like chicken broth. So I put that here. And then over here, we just have some like cooking stuff. Usually this would be filled up completely. I need to go to Costco and restock, but we have some cauliflower rice. We also have some like brown and red rice that you can just heat up in the microwave. And then we have tons of cans. We love our cans. I kind of put these in a rainbow as well. Peas, corn, we put pumpkin puree in our homemade dog food, black beans, tomatoes, we have it all. I have all of my back stock of cans right here and also behind there. It's pretty much just like everything that's in front, but double of it. And then we have tons and tons of tea. And then coming up to this next shelf, this is probably our favorite shelf. It is the snack shelf. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's right at like level. It's perfect for you to just like grab a snack. So I intentionally put the snacks right here. We have all kinds of chips. We usually don't have any of these chips, but we recently just got a BJ's membership and we picked these up for like a little fun thing that we usually don't have. So coming up to this shelf, this is a lot of like the condiments and also stuff that I'm going to use to cook as well. So right here, I have just like a little riser that I got from Amazon. I had bread cream crumbs, vinegar, I have oils, you know, my extra garlic, my extra sea salt, all in this riser. And then this is all of our extra condiment. And then I use a lot of oils when I cook. So this is a little Lazy Susan. I got this from TJ Maxx, but you can also get it from Amazon as well. And then coming over here, we have all of like my cooking essentials. So we have spaghetti noodles. We have spaghetti very often. So I put that front and center. We have some egg noodles. I just labeled that pasta because we don't always get egg noodles. So Sometimes we'll get like fettuccine or so I just kind of wanted to do a generic label so that way I can kind of just like fill that as we run out of noodles. Breadcrumbs, jasmine rice, brown rice. We have some rolled oats, coconut sugar, brown sugar, just like everything we use to kind of cook with. We also have some more back there that's labeled. Over here we have our extra pasta and I just labeled that pasta. And then back there we don't do much baking so I put all of my baking supplies back there. I don't know if you guys can see but I have some um, chocolate chips. I have my cocoa powder for brownies. I have my silicone little cupcake molds. All right, so for the top of my pantry, these are things we don't have to grab very often. So I have all of my cookbooks right here. I have some coffee essentials, which is just like all of my artificial sugars and creamers. I have some extra coffee back there. Tons of paper towels. I got these big wired baskets from Target. And then I also have all of my smoothie essentials, which is like everything I add in a smoothie. And then this little acrylic container has all of my overfill products. So essentially 
all of this stuff, but it's the refills of it. So here is a look at this side, and then I'm going to share with you guys the other side, which is over here, which you don't see unless you actually come into the pantry. So this side, I put a lot of my extra appliances here. I did store a lot in my cabinets, but I didn't want to like overcrowd my cabinet. So I just have a deep fryer at the bottom. I have some extra mason jars for like storage. I have a panini press. I have a salad bowl. What's this? I have an Instant Pot, a toaster. And then you know we are dog lovers and we give our dogs two shelves at our pantry. So this basket right here, I just have all of their extra like gingerbread treats, peanut butter treats. And then this shelf is really all of their supplements. So I do make their homemade dog foods. Up here, we just have my um, air fryer, which I use quite often, but I put that up there. And then also in this basket, I have all of my appliance accessories. So like the rotisserie rack that goes with that, all of the manuals that I need. So everything essentially that goes with these appliances. Okay guys, that completes my pantry organization video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got all the inspiration to get a space organized in your home, whether that's your pantry or whatever it is. I know for me, I'm inspired to organize every area of my house. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.